Hey everybody, this is Lewis with LA Exotics. I'm going to do a quick video today just to show you some of the whole backs and some of the animals we have in our collection. Uh, right here you're looking at our proven breeder leopard female. Um, this female was bred last year with the spinner blast and we were lucky enough to hit a leopard lemon blast female and a leopard bumblebee female. Um, so we're pretty excited about those girls. Um, but this female right here is getting bred. She was bred this year to the stinger bee and she was also bred back to the spinner blast so let's see what comes out of this a couple other animals I want to show you guys it's a super vanilla female picked her up from Chris at Gulf Coast just an animal that is very important in any collection the vanilla gene and they're just awesome like the crosses and and you also got the creams, and you got all the cream crosses, so. This girl's pretty important to us over here. All right, now this guy we were lucky enough to produce this year. This is our male dragonfly. Let me focus on him. Yeah, this guy is just awesome. He's just getting more yellow and neon yellow as he's growing and shedding. So, something very important that we want to work with. And we can plug this guy into the vanilla stuff. Uh, and hopefully make some pretty cool cream crosses with this guy. Um, another gene that we like to work with very strongly is the Enchi gene. This is possibly one of the nicest Enchis I've ever seen. Looks almost like, like a tiger. This is just a regular Enchi female. Nothing different. Just the looks. Super reduced. Talk about clean. This little female right here is awesome. When she hatched out, I just said, you know what? If it's a female, it's staying. So, I guess she's staying. Next female I'm going to show you is another Enchi Cross female we produced this year. Um, it's a pretty important cross, in my opinion, with what we want to take the Enchi stuff with. So we were lucky enough to produce this Enchi Pin female. And just the orange on the sides. Get more and more orange as she ages. We've got an older male that I picked up this season. He's a little bit older than she is, but you can see how the orange on this guy has just gotten bright, bright, bright. So this female should have that sort of orange as she goes growing. Let's put these guys back. It's pretty... Pretty cool. Anything Enchi is is pretty hot. Um, another female I picked up this year off a good buddy of mine was another Enchi cross female, which was the Enchi bumblebee female. And this girl is hot. The yellow on her and the orange and that jet yellow head. And she's pretty nice. So... We'll plug that female in. We'll plug a lot of this entry stuff in with the Coral Glow. I uh, really like the way the Coral Glow crosses are looking. And the potential that they have. So, especially with that entry. The Coral Glow entry stuff is pretty cool. We'll show off the male. He's about 140 grams. Um, he's got sperm plugs, but... You know, still doesn't really want to do nothing with the ladies, but it's still a little early in the season, so hopefully we can get this guy going with a few females. Yeah, this is a must-have. Those dots are just awesome. That purple color. Uh, and the last uh, two animals that I'm going to show you guys 
are those leopard triple females. Uh, I really like these females and the potential that they have. really are unmatched so this is the leopard bee when she was born I thought she was gonna start darkening up and it was gonna be a dark combo but as she's been growing that yellow just starts turning into like this olive color and she's just getting lighter and lighter and lighter I totally thought she was gonna be a darker animal as she aged and then the Leopard Lemon Blast female, pretty reduced. Now this female's got sick orange color on the sides. So these females will be very important in my, um, in my Coral Glow breedings next season. Both of these girls are going to go to the Coral Glow next year. So, all right, guys, appreciate your time. Um, stay posted. I'll be posting more breeding picks, and maybe I'll do another video. I'm not really, really don't have enough time between the animals and the rodents to, to do a whole bunch of videos, but every once in a while, I'll pop one in. All right, guys, appreciate you guys. Have a good season.